Hey everyone, so this is where we left in the last video. In the last video, we have worked on our login functionality and we are generating the token to make the user log into our API. Okay, in this video, we're going to create a function or you can call it a middleware because we are following in this API a middleware concept. Okay, so we're going to create a middleware which can keep the track that whether user is logged into our application or not. Okay, on the base of the login or logout we have to display the information okay so let's create that function so we'll say export and we're going to call it protect okay protecting data okay export protect okay this is the very generic name we we'll give and it will do what it does okay it will protect the data and it's going to be in a catching because again because we are dealing with the promises and synchronous behavior so i'll starting from the straight away so async function request response and next and in that we're going to call this next function and here we're going to do a couple of check okay so let's come here so right now you can see that we have to protect this get all user okay you can protect this router or you can protect this create user or you can protect this get single user you can protect this update user okay you can protect any router because this is the protect method we're going to create it will check whether the user is logged into or not okay so here we are on this user router you can simply call it here as a middleware okay the way we have done in our nft okay so we have this auth controller but this is not where we want to do it okay so let's come here and let's come back to the here and here we have the users but we don't want to use in the user we want to use in the nft data okay you can use it in the user all you have to do is to add it the way we have done in our nft so let's come here in the let's say where it is this is the this is the nft router okay so we have this all router for the nft I believe that you guys haven't forgot this okay so we have created all these different route for the top five nft we have nft stats we have nft monthly plan or year and we have all these different routes okay and i want to protect this one okay so here you can see we have already using this alias top nft function as a middleware so first this will check and then it will throw give us all the data get all nft okay so i want to call that that middleware on here okay so get all nft so I'm going to call here. I'm going to protect this because I want that user should log in and then they can access all the NFT in our API. Okay, so that's what I want to protect. So first thing we have to import that auth controller and that's coming from our, let's say, controller, auth controller. And that's what we're going to use it here. Simply copy and that's what we're going to call. So you can call on anything. I just want to call on this here where it is. Uh, this is get all nft okay okay here we have sorry <laughs> there is so many routers quite right? confusing okay so that's what we're going to call it is simply paste and we have to call the functions not login what is the name we have given mm, let's come here and simply grab this and simply paste here come back to the routers and paste here okay first it will run for this so whatever logic we're going to define into this protect it will check all the conditions if it get fulfilled then it will execute this second middleware okay so that's looks perfect hope so far things are making clear and if you're watching the video straight away from here it will become complicated for you so make sure you start from beginning and that will make sense to all of you guys okay so that looks pretty fine to me now that's the middle where we have added in our get all nft and now we can start building the functionality okay so let's close this one and come back to the close this one come back to the auth control and here we have to write all the functions okay so let's come here and here we have to do a couple of check so altogether we have to do four check here okay so for the first check we have to do is check second check we have to do is the let's say whether the token the user is providing is valid or not okay that's the second check the third check we have to do is that user exists okay so sometimes what happened that user have created the account and somehow they have deleted the account so but the token is still in the regulation okay so we have to do the check for that okay so if the user delete the account we have to delete the token as well because we have to make the token invalid so no one else can get access into our database okay so that's the third check and the fourth check we have to do is let's check change password okay because when because the password because the token would generate on the base of the password okay so if user have changed the password then the token will also be get changed okay so these are the four check we have to do and after that we have to simply pass the data okay so first token then we have to validate the token when we have to take the user exists and then change password okay so let's take one thing at a time okay so we'll start with the token first so let's come here and here what i want to do i want to show you something okay we have to send the header okay so let's close all this one and let's come back to the app js okay in this we have access of the header okay 
so let me show you how you can set the header as well because the token we're going to send on header and we have access of multiple we have access of multiple data in our header okay so let me console logout so this is the middleware which every time will run whenever we'll make any request okay so let me show you what i mean so i'll say rec dot header okay so in the request we have access of all the data okay so we have the body we have rec okay so if you do console log rec you will find that what are the data you have in that okay so we try to access the header okay so what header we get so simply save it and let me show you what i mean by that and if i make a request so if i come here if i go to this uh get okay because here we are getting all the nfts okay so if i make a request on this you can see here we got all the six nft actually we have a lot of nft but some of the nfts are hidden okay and again why hidden you have to watch the video from the beginnings then you can understand why it's hidden okay let's bring this up and this is not what i am interested in you can see this is the header tab we have and here we can define the header okay so this is how you can do so i can call it name header okay you can call whatever name you want so i'll call it new header and here you can define the value which you want to send in the header and this is how we're going to send the our token so the token we have generated for the user this is how we can send in the response okay so let's say dollar thousand okay so so just imagine that i have created a header and this is the value i'm passing in that header okay so now if i make a request you can see the magic in our logs okay so open up your logs and let's bring it up and there's a lot of things goes into this okay you can see we have this user agent because we have used postman so we have the data for that now we have the postman token this is the token we have the host we are using the local host then we have this connection alive so a lot of things we have but you can see down there we have this new header okay which is the dollar thousand you can see we have all this data and we have this middleware stacks and we have this data new header and dollar thousand so that's the header we are sending so let's hit, make a request one more time and you can see now we got the all the entire object okay so this is the we have the header okay hope make it makes sense to all of you guys we have the request and that we have the access of the header okay so that's what we are trying to access here okay now let's come here and here what we're going to do is here i'm going to change the value okay so the key is going to be let's say this will call authentication okay that's makes sense obviously because this this token which we're going to send back is 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 will be it would be responsible for authenticating the user okay so we'll call this authentication make sure to write the spelling i'm really bad with the spelling and you guys already know by the way by the time you are following this course okay authentication and in this i'm going to pass the token okay so i'll say and this is what we're going to do you can type whatever text you want but the reason why i'm giving this text because i want to simply check for the condition okay so simply type b bear okay i'll say let's say b a r a r bear and here i'm going to pass the token okay so right now i'm giving this random string but we're going to send the token as well okay so let's make a request and let's come here and go back to the terminal and if i bring this okay now we have to send the back okay let's make a request one more time hit a request and it's taking a little bit time uh let's close this one and come back here and here you can see it took time but here we got the data okay so you can see authentication and we have bear and we have the string which we have sent it here okay authentication bear and we have this string and things are looking fine you can see we got this and that's what we're going to utilize to validate the user okay so now let's bring this on i have noticed that it's uh, not b e a r e r okay not a r and when i was learning about this api development my teacher jonathan is amazing okay he's amazing and i'm following the stream structure in this course as well because that's the best thing for building an api to learning the api development okay so whatever i'm covering whatever explanation i'm giving i'm giving on the base of what i have learned from him okay because that's the best thing i have found from him and whatever i have learned so far in the api development that's for him as well okay so that's the exact keyword he used in his course and that's what i'm using here okay so bear and now we can request and things are looking good you can see things are looking good and now it's showing up the right spelling okay bear that looks good and we're going to utilize that as well okay so here what we can do 
here we go to check for that okay so we'll say if rec header and then we have this authentication okay simply copy and paste here and if we have the auth auth authentication in the header and rec dot bear authentication start with it's a simple javascript and if it start with bear okay and then we have to pass the string bear because this is going to be the unique identifier on the base of that because i have to make the distinction between the keyword and the payload okay sorry the token okay and then i'm going to pass the bear okay since this is the check we are doing if we have the authentications and we have the value bear means we have the data okay so what we can do we'll see, take this variable let and the reason why we have taken this let token because we want to use this token in in all these four function okay validate token and user exists and change password okay so that's why we have defined outside of this if statement okay and we can simply update this token and in that we are dot header authentication and it will say slice because we want to make this space because we have the space in the bear and the token okay and we're going to utilize the space to make the difference between the keyboard and the exchange token okay so we'll say space and we want to take the first element okay so when you use the splice method you will get the data in the form of array i hope that's a simple javascript and now let me console log of the token to show you that how it's look okay so simply comment this on and let's come here and let's come back to the postman and make a request so this is the data we got back taking a little bit time and finally we got the data if we come here come back to the code and let's open it up okay we are getting some blank okay okay so it's blank let's bring this out of the if statement make a request and still we are getting this blank why it's so still we are getting this blank so let's come here and um, go back to the router let's try to find out what's the problem we having why it's blank so here we are calling this auth control dot product when we are trying to access the all nft things looks fine here no problem we have here let's come back to the auth control and here we are simply separating slice splitting and trying to find the second data on the base of this space okay and this looks pretty good and make a request okay still we are getting this you can see the moment we are passing this token we are getting that so our code is execution okay so our code there is no problem in the code okay there is no problem in that so come to the login and this is what we have simply grab this because this is the user we have created and this is the token we have got simply copy this one and that's what we want to send here okay i noticed one thing that i have provided two space in the bear and the token okay so because of that i was getting there you can see we have this two space okay so make pride one space because the second space we are trying to access the second data okay and second data is a space so that's why we were getting the blank okay and now it will work fine okay so if i save it okay so make the make a request and boom here you can see we got the token back okay so that's how we can send the token back so this looks pretty fine we can easily able to access the header and the data if I provide a space, hickory request, you can see right now we'll get empty because we have two space. I know this time of silly mistakes happened. And I mean, even I was wondering for 10 minutes that what's went wrong, why the code is not working. And I found that this is the silly mistake I made. So that looks pretty fine. And these are not silly mistakes. It's a part of development. <laughs> you will come this kind of mistake a lot of time while building the project. Okay. So that looks pretty fine. You can see we got the token back. And that's how we can access the token okay so it's working fine we can easily able to access the token on the base of the authorization and from the header as well okay so that looks pretty good now let's do the second check okay so let's write the second if statement we'll say if token if there is no token then we want to simply throw an error okay so we'll say new app and in that we have to throw the error into our global app error okay so we'll say you are not logged into get access okay 404 okay so because if they don't have the token that's mean they don't have the access to the api okay so that's how we can throw the error if we if you can see if i remove this one we can easily able to if i remove this authorization make a request you can see this is the error message we'll get you are not logged into get access you can see it's already working we can easily able to check the authentication on the base of the header which we have defined okay we have defined you can see we can easily able to get it okay 
if we remove make a request we'll get an error okay that's working fine cool okay that's the cool hope things are making sense to all of you guys so this is working so we have done with the first thing so we are done with the first check i hope this makes sense to all of you guys and that's the only thing i want to cover in this video because i don't want to extend this video in the next video we're going to do all these three check we have to validate the token because right now you can see you can pass anything whether you part the complete token or a simple two or three letter it will make it valid okay so that's the check we have to do now in the second part we have to validate the token then we have to check the user exist and the password change okay so hope this thing makes sense to all of you if you have still any confusion and doubt do leave in the comment section i'll try to help you in that okay now it's time to take me a break then i will start recording this where i left right now okay see you in the next video have a wonderful day